today we're almost in Groveport, Ohio. I stopped just so I could shoot this, but uh, I want to show you a log house. I don't know if you know the difference between a log house and a log cabin, but a log house is two stories where a log cabin is one story. Now this particular building happened to be uh, moved a long time ago. I'm going to show you the history as well as I got some exclusive pictures they let me in this morning and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So come on, let's go check it out. If you want to visit the log home by car, all you have to do is get to Groveport. It's off of Groveport Road which turns into Main Street. You're going to turn on to Wirt Road heading west and it's about a quarter of a mile on your left side. Now if you're coming by bike, you'll want to be on Blacklick Creek Trail. There's a little feeder path that takes you all the way down to Groveport, so you'll head south. You'll follow that down until you get to Ebright Road, which is about a mile and a quarter or so. You'll then cross over. You'll be on Front Street, which you'll notice you're now in Groveport when you cross the railroad tracks and the road becomes brick. You'll follow that all the way down to the traffic light. You'll hook a quick little left after you cross the street. Then another quick little left that'll take you onto Crooked Alley. From there, you'll be able to see Wirt Road, which you'll obviously get on. And the destination is on your left about 200 yards. For almost 40 years, the Groveport Heritage and Preservation Society has served as the caretaker for a log house built more than 30 years before the founding of Groveport. In 1974, the U.S. Postal Service purchased the lot at Madison and Main Street in the village of Groveport for a new post office. Located on the lot was a modest white frame house with a metal roof, characteristic of many homes in the village. Demolition was imminent. As preparation to raise the structure began, workers who were stripping away the siding discovered the house was built of rough hewn logs and notified postal officials. Considering the historical significance to the community, the postal officials offered the home to the society. The Groveport Heritage and Preservation Society, organized in 1972, made the commitment to dismantle the log home and move it to Wirt Road. The project was one of the first major commitments by the society. Moving a 50-ton structure required innovation and initial efforts to obtain a professional mover were futile. The Society contacted the 364th Engineering Group of the U.S. Army Reserves from Fort Hayes and asked for their assistance. The Reserves helped the Society move the house as the community service project. The two-story log house with one and a half story addition was actually two parts. The main house, termed large pen, served approximately 20 by 30 from the inside walls. It was built between 1815 and 1825. The single story addition, termed small pen, was used as a summer kitchen and was built around 1835. The original chimney and fireplace were on the east side. The central chimney, used for a stove, was thought to be the original because of the off-center front door. There were also a vertical board partition wall to the right of the door. The date of construction is known by the notching used at the corners. Two notching systems used most frequently in Ohio were the saddle or steep and a half dovetail. Both styles were used in this house. After Thoroughly cleaning the log house, the smaller section was relocated to Wirt Road. The final structure, moved several weeks later, was loaded on a truck by rolling it on logs and using jacks. Following the move, the society and volunteers began the restoration work and accomplished it at one-third the estimated cost of professional contractors. The log house has become symbolic to the village of Groveport. The annual Butter Days activities, which started one year prior to the log house renovations in the Presbyterian Church parking lot on College Street, has been held on the park grounds since 1976. In 1993, the concern for the stability of the log house, built in 1815, became a major issue for society members. 
After more than two decades, groundwater had damaged the foundation and walls of this Groveport landmark. An extensive renovation had to be done to save the structure. Maintaining the log house is the responsibility of the village after they maintained ownership of the property in 1987. Council's response to issues raised by society members brought immediate attention to the matter. They approved $150,000 from the 1995 budget for the restoration and maintenance of the log house. Now I want to take you out to the garden because this is a typical 1830s type garden. These are the items you would have found in those days in that garden. This is very well kept and I like to thank the Groveport Society for this. Now this structure you see here is used for summer concerts and it is booked very frequently. The grounds will hold around 120 people. Now for you bikers this is an absolutely great rest stop and they also have working restrooms. Explore.